So perhaps you're like me and you've always wondered what would it be like to grill or smoke a turkey on a Weber kettle grill. But first, let's stop and let's talk about preparation because this is one of the most important things. You need to brine your turkey. And if you've never done that, here's the basic process. You take about four quarts of water, one cup of salt, some bay leaves, some peppercorns if you like, and any other spices you might think about. When you put them in a pot, you boil, you boil some water or heat some water until the salt dissolves. And then you cool it down either with, I recommend a bag of ice or something. So what I do is I take this, uh, I took this turkey, which is a 14 pound turkey. I put it in a small cooler that I have and I poured this brine solution with a bag of ice enough to cover the turkey and then you let the turkey sit in that cooler. I just cover it, close it up, let it sit in that cooler for 48 hours so that it brines the turkey. And what this does is it causes the turkey to absorb more moisture, which just makes a better turkey overall. You'll also see that I just season the outside of this turkey a little bit. I'm using an emerald seasoning, seasoning which is kind of a uh, Cajun seasoning and then I quartered up an onion and put it inside the cavity of the turkey. You could throw garlic or other things in there. You need to prepare your coals. I use a chimney to get them started and you'll see that what I've done is I've put a metal pan in the bottom of the grill and I've kind of surrounded it a little bit with just unlit charcoal. At that point I'm just going to pour my charcoal on top of that and that's going to be enough to basically start the unlit charcoal as the bird is cooking. Now the pan is there for multiple reasons. One is to catch a lot of the drippings that come off of the turkey. It's also to keep the charcoal apart and keep the bird from being directly on the coals. So what you'll see is we're going to throw the turkey giblets, the stuff that comes stuffed inside your bird. I'm going to throw them in the bottom of this pan and we're going to use that to make a gravy at the end. But that's the turkey neck, the tail, the gizzard, the liver, all of the giblets that basically come in or anything that you trim off of the bird is going to go in the bottom of this pan. And what you'll see we're going to do is after we get these in the pan is we're going to, we're going to pour some chicken stock in there. That's multiple reasons, but mainly to keep the drippings from burning in the bottom of the pan and to have more uh, liquid for for gravy to make later. So we're going to put our grill grate on. We're going to put our turkey on the grill. And then I'm opening up the side and I'm going to put some chunks of pecan wood. Now you can buy these usually at your local grocery. And that's just to create some smoke. Now you can use pecan apple, cherry, whatever wood you really like. If you don't know, just choose something mild. I just put about three or four chunks in there, cover the bird, and most importantly, leave it alone. This is after about two hours. You can see it's getting a nice golden color. And at that point, what you want to do about two or two and a quarter hours is begin to check some temperatures. Now what you're going for optimally is 165 degrees in the thigh area. Now sometimes you may find in this in this setup that the thigh actually gets done before the breast does. And I don't know if that's because it's lower on the heat or what, but I found that the thigh was actually done before the breast. Now when you get to 165, pull the bird off. Put it in a pan. At this point what I did was wrap the bird up in some aluminum foil and put it until everything else was done. But what you're going to see now on the bottom of this grill, look at that nice drippings that have fallen in this pan and we're going to use that to make gravy. Now when you're trying to take this pan out, be very careful, you're going to see that I almost spill it here. It's hard because that pan is really hot, so be very careful getting that pan out of there and then pour off the drippings into another pan. 
So the bird came out really good. Um, I just carved it up just like just like you always would. Sliced it. It was juicy. It was plump. In fact, everyone said it was the best bird they'd ever had. And I've smoked birds before on other or using other methods, but this turned out really good. The gravy that we made was made from the drippings. I just poured them into a pan and then I just heated it on the stove, thickened it up with cornstarch and cold water. So you can look that up if you've never done that trick. But it just thickens it up when it comes to a boil. It thickens that gravy up. Had great flavor. The bird was nice and smoky but not too over the top with smoke. So I hope you'll give this a shot the next time you're thinking about fixing a bird either for Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever you're doing. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>